Hello there and welcome to this Absolute Studio tutorial. In this tutorial we will be taking a look at how you can change between windows. So we'll just cover the design quickly over here. We'll create a window with a button that says switch. And when you click it, it will open a new window uh, that has a button. Let's just I'll just draw a line here so we can see that this is the first window and this is the second window and the second window will have a button that's called close and when you click it it will close the window okay so this button leads to this window and this button leads to this window okay so let's create window 1 first so we say var win 1 equals ti.ui.create window let's give it a background color of white and we also need to create the button button one tiui.create button and let's give it a title of switch like that then we need to add the button to the window so you say win one dot add button one Right, that's the first window. Then we of course need to open window one. Open. There we go. Uh, let's just save this and see how it looks. I just see we get uh, the oh I wrote background color. There we go. Okay, so we we have a button and we have the window working. So we need to add an event listener to the button and then open window two. But Let's create window two first. So we say var win two equals ti.ui.create window. You know what? Let's just copy this and then change the background color to gray or something light gray ish like hashtag cc cc cc. Um, and then the title here can be set to close. And then instead of win one and button one, we'll just name it win two and button two, and of course add button two to win two instead. Right, so we got that going. So when button one is clicked, we say button one dot add event listener. We specify the name of the event, which is the click event when a user clicks the button, and we say that we want to execute the function when it's clicked. And in the function we say win2.open. Then the window is opened. Let's just see if that works. So I click switch. And it opens the window. Then we just need to make the close button working. We do that by adding an event listener to button 2. Button 2 dot add event listener. We add a click event as we did in the previous button. We add a function too. And when we click the button, we want to close the window. And that's really simple. You just say win2.close. And you're actually done. So you see, I click switch, it opens up the second window, I click close, and it closes it again. So that's the way you, you go from uh, window to window in Accelerator Studio. In the next video, I will be showing you how you can do it in a bit more modern way, where you use what's called a page control to switch between the windows. So you drag the window from side to side but that's for the next video thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed the video please leave a like a comment or a subscription that would be really really nice because that's the only way i can see if the content i deliver to you is good or bad thanks for watching see you later